Welcome to this week's episode of the Pullist Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at my top three choices that I'm looking forward to reading when it comes to new comic book day. This week's uh, pull list is not a giant one. You can check out all the comics I'm planning on buying in the description of the video below. And new comic book day this week is going to be Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. So let's check out what I'm looking forward to reading. Starting off at number three this week, we've got Ambassadors issue number one. It is a first issue coming from Miller World. If you're not familiar with Miller World, Mark Miller is a prolific writer. He has a, a huge deal that he struck with Netflix. Some of his titles are supposed to be pushed over into movie and cartoon and various formats on Netflix. I actually was a fan of Jupiter's Legacy. I don't know if there's a ton of fans out there who really like that. It kind of caught on a bit but it didn't turn into a huge hit if you are a fan of that Jupiter's Legacy series it seems like this ambassador series is going to tie in eventually I think Mark Miller mentioned that in one of his interviews and if you look at the uh, artist who he's bringing in Frank quietly it's the same artist that worked on that series so uh, the premise behind it is pretty cool if you're interested in those kind of realistic superhero stories I would recommend checking it out and next up at number two we've got Daredevil issue number nine this series by Chip Zdarsky has been so great and I think some people are disappointed because I, I believe he recently announced he is ending his time on Daredevil I believe by the end of the summer is what I think I read so so we are probably only going to get a handful more issues before Chip Zdarsky moves off. Uh, Marco Cicchetto, who has done some amazing artwork, is actually not on this issue. So we'll see what happens with the art style. But overall, I have been very happy with this new plot line that started when they kind of rebooted with an issue number one. And I see now that Zdarsky is starting to tie back into some of those initial plot points from the first series. So that's kind of cool. But you've got daredevil and electra who uh spoiler alert they've got married and are now leading the hand into a huge battle so we'll see what happens and at number one this week we've got gotham city year one issue number six this is the final issue in this series it was a six issue series that was done by tom king and he has done a great job giving us a classic noir style story that uh, has also incorporated some uh, really gritty art from Phil Hester so it's just been a fun readable story that ties back into Gotham uh, into Gotham's roots I should say with uh, a couple generations back from what we're normally used to reading with the Bruce Wayne and his family we're looking at what I think is like his great-grandparents and it's a very interesting story that if you like that classic mystery murder mystery film noir type style this would be right up your alley so i'm looking forward to seeing how it concludes and hopefully you are too i do have a quick segment this week for drop it like it's cold yep uh, i ended up taking captain america symbol of truth off of my pull list this week um, the storyline had led up to I think issue 11 and they did a good job and if you were a fan of the Captain America movie uh, that came out and the Captain America Winter Soldier series that came out over at Disney Plus you probably would like that first arc it looks like they're now gonna take both the symbol of truth and Sentinel of Liberty which are like the two separate Captain America titles at Marvel and do some kind of crossover event and I just decided that that wasn't for me so unfortunately Unfortunately, it's going to be dropped like it's cold this week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Pull List Examiner. If you do not subscribe, please click subscribe, click like, and remember to read them, bag them, and board them. And we'll see you next time on the next episode of the Pull List Examiner.